In this video, I want to look at manipulating an image, and here I have a picture of Mr. White and uh, Heisenberg, and I want to take um, and modify the, the image by modifying pixels uh, at various different locations through the image. Just individually attack a pixel and, and change its value. Um, my code down here is much like the other code. Um, I have a J-frame, which has um, a J panel inside in it. The J panel um, displays the image, and uh, I've called it the salted image panel. And then I have my own utility class for converting a, a matrix into a buffer, but it's just a utility class, it's very simple. Uh, you might have seen it before. It fires back a buffered image, just encapsulate this little bit of an algorithm here. Um, I load the library. Um, in OpenCV, just to remember, images are stored in blue, green, red form, not RGB, red, green, blue. Um, just if that's of interest to you. Um, I'm going to load her image in using HiGUI, and uh, I'm going to print out some data on it about how many rows and columns it has. Then I'm going to uh, pass the image over to a function, um, or a method I should say called salt, and that method takes the image and it uh, does 1001 or 10,001 uh, dots on it. You could put in whatever number you want there. Um, so when it's salted, when it's finished being salted, I convert it into a JPEG and display it. So down here, this is just a utility function again from I got from Stack Overflow. It's quite nice, quite simple for generating random numbers between a particular range. Um, this is the the meat of the f of the method. It takes in the matrix or the image that you want to modify, and it takes in a value um, for how many dots you want to put onto it, or like ten thousand and one, or whatever you want. Um, if it has a single channel, I print out just that it's a single channel. I'm expecting a three channel image, and I want to be able to modify each of the uh, the values, the three channel values. So I'm going to tell the user that it is three channels, and I'm going to pick a random number in the range, not 250. And what I'm going to do is the value that I get there, I'm going to uh, fill an array with those values, three of them, red, one for green, red, and blue. Um, like I was explaining up here, where is it? Blue, green, and red. So blue, green, and red. So I could just create a double array called spec color, so it's the color of the spec. And then down here, um, I create another random integer um, that's related to the height and width of two random integers, or sorry, doubles that are related to the height and width of the actual um, image itself. And then I say image put, and what I'm doing is I'm putting the spec color, which is an actual color, at a particular location. And... Um, the X and Y value would have been picked up from here, and the spec color would have been picked up from here, and that's all you do. Now this is a small bit confusing because um, if you do it in C++, um, you'd go image at a particular, um, you'd say it's a vector three B at that particular location, and you'd modify a single channel in a go. Um, so the at command has been modified in this now in Java. It's called the put command, um, which is a tiny bit confusing. I might have call it set or even at again to just uh, mimic the C++ one but it, it works fine so I'll uh, run it here and you can see that this is the um, the image of Heisenberg after he's modified you can see pixel values have been um, modified and this was the original image so where it had nothing there was um, you know, black and white dots and I think he looks even slightly more sinister if that's possible um, and that's how to change individual pixel values um, in an image in Java, um, which is a little bit like C++, but not quite, and that's the end of it.